it was a Philadelphia Warrior, and it was 1967, and it was Will Chamberlain. It is controlled by MB, and good to have you with us on NBA TV. He wants all of his bigs to be aggressive inside and look to finish the way Alex Len did right there. Put some pressure on Embiid. Make him worry about them and feel them on defense a little bit. Not a bad stroke. Oh, man. Oh. Russell Westbrook's mid-range game. Coming up short. Curry had three threes in game one. All 15 of his points coming after intermission. And B with a mismatch. Two guys that really know how to play at a high level. MB looking for a three. Len, make sure it's one and done. And it's just the subtle moves that he makes. I mean, it wasn't anything flashy, but it's a couple of subtle moves, and he left Danny Green in the dust and was able to get right back into a step back jump. Inside too easy. Oh, Over the top. Man. Bradley Beal fronting Tobias Harris. Nice pass. Is Smith denied. Danny Green, a good defender his entire career. Neto, too strong on the step back. Defense turning into good offense. Daniel Gafford is fouled. Hachimura on the run out by Tobias Harris. And that's a couple of guys that are about 6'8", 6'9", going at it. Now he gets the switch. It's Ish Smith. Ben Simmons back on the floor. What a start he has had. It'll be MB. He gets the triple. Back to a nine-point lead for the 76ers. Tobias Harris, who just sat down 40%, and beat at 38%. George Hills at 39%, and Corkmus at 38%. And a little bit long. Well, you knew this, this Wizards team wasn't going to go away. I, I've seen plenty of games this year where they've been down big, sometimes even 20-plus points in the second half, and they continuously fight their way back in the ball. It was great to see Tobias back and Joel. Sometimes when you turn that angle like that, the best thing you can do is tape it back up and get right back out there so the, it doesn't, the angle doesn't have a chance to swell up and really stiffen up and slow you down. George Hill. MB trying to get Robin Lopez out of position on the step back. That's not normal. I'm sorry for a guy better than seven feet. Yeah. But the 15, to, uh, 15 attempts just shows you how aggressive the Wizards have been. They're trying to get downhill. They want to attack the paint. Shares it with Westbrook. Finally, a little bit strong. Tobias Harris has it. Simmons always looking for early offense. Not a bad leave on the take. What a finish. Wow. Incredible. You hear what they're yelling, Joe? MVP? Missed too many games. I think, and we concur on that. I agree with you. Curry staying in the neighborhood. Now the clear out for Russell Westbrook. Neto, good look for three. And a heartbreaker for Boy, the Washington. He needs his backcourt teammate to step up and get buckets right along with him. Good skip. Cross. Danny Green. Joel Embiid. He found him. 17-point lead. Biggest of the game for the Sixers. Rebound to Beal, who averaged nearly five per game during the regular season. See, don't let Beal into the lane. He's usually kind of the guy that jokes. Bradley Beal was laughing and smiling, but I don't think it was meant to be funny. As MB. As MB, you knew he was going up with it. And he gets it. Wide open. And a timeout for Washington with the biggest lead of the game now at 20. And ben Simmons is an incredible defensive player. 6'10". Might be defensive player of the year. But that just shows you how good Bradley Beal is defensively. I mean offensively. What is Gafford going to do when he gets sealed that early and the work is done by MB? When Bradley Beal puts his head down and makes, gets his mindset that he wants to score, there's nothing anybody can do one-on-one. -on -one. It's thrown away by Joel MB. Smith teeing up a three. And Beal, one of those guys over the years, you know, you heard about Wall a lot because he... Bradley Beal also second all-time leading scorer in franchise history. Find the Hall of Famer, Elvin Hayes. Joel Embiid finds some space. Bowling right through Daniel Gafford. 